While many people rightly claim that the 1980s is the golden age of action figures, we would never have seen the abundance of high quality toy lines emerge during that period if it weren't for the groundwork laid down in the 1970s by companies like Mattel, Hasbro, Mego, and Palatoy. During the decade of disco when everybody was kung fu fighting and when adventure ruled the toy aisles, action figures were mostly taller, always masculine, and instantly iconic. And in today's video, we're gonna count down the top 10 best 70s action figure toy lines. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey, toy fans, my name is Tony, and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel, where we're obsessed with bringing you the true history of vintage toys and action figures. And kicking us off in the number 10 slot is Mattel's Big Jim. First released in 1972, the Big Jim toy line featured a range of muscular action figures with a sports and adventure theme. The figures stood around 10 inches tall and they had a unique feature where the arms were manufactured from a soft vinyl material that simulated a bulging bicep when the elbow was bent. With accessory sets covering everything from safari adventures, camping, rescue and kung fu, and a cast of friends such as Big Jack and Big Josh, this campy but fun toy line is also remembered for having one of the most unintentionally funny toy commercials ever made. Here's Big Jim, a safari outfit, his camping tent and friend Big Josh. Big Jim's on safari when suddenly he sees Big Josh coming at him through the trees. And Big Jim says, let's see if he's stronger than me. Big Josh cracks this tree stump with his axe. Big Jim splits this board with karate wax. And they realize when the contest ends, the two strong guys are going to be strong friends. Big Jim, Big Josh, Camp and Tent and Safari outfit all sold separately from Mattel. Taking the number nine slot on this list is the Evil Knievel toy line from Ideal. Inspired by the world-famous motorcycle Daredevil, who was a huge celebrity in the 1970s, I'm hesitant to call Ideal's Evil Knievel an action figure because he doesn't have the type of articulation that we normally associate with action figures. Instead, he has a vinyl body over a bendy wire skeleton, and he's the only character in the entire line. Yet it doesn't really matter because this line was all about Evil's gyro-powered rides. With everything from a stunt cycle and chopper bike to a dragster and scramble van, the appeal of this toy line came from the energizer and gyro-powered motor combination that required no batteries with which to launch Evil into all kinds of crazy stunts. And if you want to see just how fun these toys are, then check out our video where Evil Can Evil jumped Snake Mountain. More time to accelerate. <laughs> Coming in at number eight is Mego's Star Trek. Based on the legendary science fiction TV show that was seeing renewed popularity in the 1970s due to television syndication, Mego's range of eight inch tall Star Trek action figures were first released in 1975. Reusing the basic Mego body type to keep costs down, the range offered us most of the key characters from the original series, as well as numerous aliens. Although beyond the Klingon, these aliens can be quite difficult to find today. The Mego Star Trek line also offered us an Enterprise Bridge playset. And although it looked nothing like its TV counterpart, the inclusion of the transporter room feature made this toy a hell of a lot of fun to play with. If you have the original cast of Mego's Enterprise crew, they are colourful enough to make this set really pop on a display shelf. And for that alone, they are worthy of inclusion in this top 10. Number 7 on the list of the best 70s action figure toy lines is the G.I. Joe Adventure Team. Hasbro's G.I. Joe was the first bona fide action figure line to be released all the way back in 1964. But due to the anti-war sentiment that grew around the Vietnam conflict, Joe's early military theme had to be aborted, and Hasbro successfully reinvented the brand as the adventure team in the early 1970s. The group included a land adventurer, sea adventurer, and air adventurer, and these daring heroes would uncover the secret of the mummy's tomb, go on a white tiger hunt, and search for the stolen idol. And the line was quite extensive, lasting all the way through to 1976. With lifelike hair and kung fu grip hands, there are few children of the 70s that don't remember playing with the G.I. Joe Adventure Team at one time or another. Number six on our list is Gabriel's Lone Ranger. This is one of the most gorgeous and underrated toy lines of the 1970s. Mostly based on the hugely popular Lone Ranger television series starring Clayton Moore in the title role, this expansive line of toys featured interesting characters, extremely well sculpted horses, and a colorful collection of uniforms and outfits. Like so many other 70s action figures, the Lone Ranger line was focused on adventure, albeit western adventure. Yet there are numerous toys in this line that are simply staggering in both scope and ambition. While not very desirable today, this isn't a list of the most popular 70s toy lines. This is a list of the best, and with such high quality design, 
the Lone Ranger is highly deserving of the number six slot. Coming in at number five is the Six Million Dollar Man from American toy company, Kenner. Lee Majors was the biggest TV star of the 1970s, thanks in no small part to his role as Colonel Steve Austin, aka the Six Million Dollar Man, an astronaut and test pilot who barely survives a crash and is brought back better, stronger and faster, thanks to bionic implants. The accompanying Kenner toy line was one of the taller of the era, with the Six Million Dollar Man action figures standing approximately 13 inches in height. And these figures are very well made. The initial range only featured a single Steve Austin action figure, a radio backpack, and a bionic transport vehicle. But as the years and the popularity of the TV show progressed, the range expanded to include multiple different characters and high quality playsets and vehicles. Featuring truly excellent face sculpts and a staggering amount of exciting play features, Steve Austin may not be worth $6 million today, but he's definitely worthy of the number five slot on this list. And at number four, we have Fisher Price Adventure People. First introduced in 1975, Fisher Price's Adventure People was the toy line that popularised the three and three quarter inch scale for action figures, a scale that would later be used to great effect on the Star Wars line. Initially focusing on adventure sets such as the Northwoods Trailblazer and the Daredevil Sport Van, the Adventure People would eventually expand into everything from television broadcast crews to outer space action. While some modern collectors dismiss these as toddler toys, for many of us, Fisher Price's Adventure People were a gateway into playing with action figures, and their fun and non-violent nature made the Adventure People a hit with children as well as their parents. Their captivating promise of great adventure always delivered, and they're also far more than a simple footnote in the history of action figures, with Fisher Price leading the three and three quarter inch action figure scale revolution. As we get closer to the top slot, the number three entry is the legendary Kenner Star Wars line. Inspired by the insanely popular trilogy of films produced by George Lucas, the Kenner Star Wars line literally reinvented the way that young boys played with toys in the late 70s. The popularity of Star Wars toys is solely responsible for the three and three quarter inch scale becoming the scale of choice for 80s action figures. And the concept of minifigures combined with amazing spaceship vehicles was a global success for Kenner. But I'm sure some of you are wondering why Star Wars only made it to the number three slot on this list. Well, it's important to remember that this list is centered on toy lines of the 70s. And while Star Wars was undoubtedly groundbreaking, the line didn't start getting really great until the 1980s, when Kenner's sculpting, design and engineering really reached its peak. Yet the impact of Kenner's Star Wars cannot be overstated, and is indicative of a zeitgeist moment in the memories of 70s children all across the world. And the nostalgia we all feel for these small pieces of plastic can be rarely matched. Taking the number two slot is Mego's World's Greatest Superheroes line. This is the second 8-inch scaled Mego entry here, yet it is by far the company's most beloved line. While some will claim that Mego figures are constructed more cheaply than other toys featured on this list, you cannot deny the immense scope of this line, and how gorgeous they look when displayed together. First launched in 1972, and lasting into the 1980s in certain countries, the major coup achieved by this line is the fact that Mego were able to secure the rights to both Marvel and DC comic book characters. So for the first and only time in action figure history, we were able to have Batman play alongside Captain America in the same scale and style. Before we reveal our top pick, here is a single honorable mention. And that goes to Mego's Planet of the Apes line, which very easily could have made this list. But with two other slots already given to 8 inch scaled Mego lines, we couldn't justly give that company another slot. And with Star Trek also being based on a live action sci-fi property, we had to make a very tough decision. And so coming in at number one it is the absolute best 1970s action figure toy line, Palatoy's Action Man. First released way back in 1966, during Action Man's early years he was simply a UK rebranding of the hugely successful Hasbro G.I. Joe line. However, throughout the 1970s Palatoy forged their own path, turning Action Man into the most popular British boys toy of the decade. With generic action figures that stood 12 inches tall, the key to Action Man's appeal was in his everyman nature whereby a child could turn the character into almost any type of real-world hero imaginable, provided they had the desired accessory set. The overall scope achieved by this product range has rarely been matched, with a mind-boggling variety of British ceremonial uniforms, foreign World War II outfits, adventure heroes and emergency sets. During Action Man's heyday, Palatoy was constantly evolving the line, and several of their figure innovations, such as realistic hair and gripping hands, made their way back across the Atlantic and were introduced into the G.I. Joe adventure team. While the range did see continued success in the 1980s, Action Man dominated the 70s, and was awarded the first and only Toy of the Decade award to ever be presented, rightfully earning its place as the number one toy line on this list. Mm -hmm. 
So that's our list of the top 10 best 1970s action figure toy lines. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our other top 10 videos, you can click the links up here or subscribe to the channel by clicking down here somewhere. Uh, I'm Tony from Animal Toys and I'll see you in the next video.